I am in the Al Maghazi refugee camp, and actually, I am standing on the rubble of a five floors home that was completely destroyed by the Israeli strikes on the Al Maghazi refugee camp overnight. Here we have a number of people that are trying to evacuate the bodies of those who were who were still under the uh, rubble and the rescue teams and civil forces did not manage to evacuate them. Uh, what you are seeing here is the bodies of two girls, children. One of them is 10 years old, the other one is 8 years old. Uh, they are from Al Yazi family and actually these uh, children these two girls evacuated from their homes in northern Gaza and came here to take shelter in middle Gaza because this place was told by the idea of that it is a safe place and actually this is where the Palestinians should be heading for their safety. <laughs> We are, we're going to move around because uh, the, the, the people, they want to take some blankets in order to cover the bodies of the uh, two girls. So yes, they managed to evacuate the uh, two girls. We want also to show you the amount of destruction here in Al Maghazi refugee camp. As you can see, uh, we're talking about at least 10 homes that were either partly or completely damaged in the series of Israeli strikes that targeted the Al Maghazi refugee camp where a Palestinian Mercosus has talked about more than 80 people killed. And um, we are actually witnessing the evacuation of the bodies of more people that were killed in this Israeli strike box. They are still under the rubble. Nur Harazin, CGTN, Gaza.